Hey what's up guys and gals, my name is Rick9G, thank you for joining me today in this video of I Love Lucy. Today we're going to be looking at the salaries of many of the I Love Lucy actors, extras, and some guest stars. Now if you haven't seen my videos on Bill Holden as well as Orson Welles, I'd highly recommend those because I go into their stories in detail and that is very important because their stories are a little longer i want to welcome all the new subscribers and people who are new to the channel i hope you're staying positive no matter what challenges and adversity you're facing thanks for your support as always and let's get started now if you're a big fan of i love lucy you know that there are many many people on the show there are a lot of recurring characters as well as big name celebrities that did get a chance to make it on the show in fact some of these celebrities today are not even known as opposed to everyone knowing Lucio Ball and Desi Arnaz, but no one knowing the celebrities. Now, unfortunately, because of time constraints, I'm not going to be able to go through every single actor and every single celebrity, but I've highlighted and picked out a few that I think you would enjoy to see. For example, how much money did little Ricky make? How much money did Bill Frawley or Vivian Vance make? Sheldon Leonard? All of these will be answered in this video, so stay tuned and let's start with the first. Now, if you've seen many episodes of I Love Lucy, you will know Carolyn Appleby. She was known formerly in the first time she appeared as Lillian Appleby, but they later changed it to Carolyn. Now, for the salaries of many of these actors, I'm going to give the amount that they were paid at that time in the 50s, as well as the current amount, what the value is, taking inflation into account. Because, of course, money was worth a lot more then than it is today. Carolyn Appleby, of course, was played by Dora Singleton, and in her first appearance in the series, she netted $400 in 1953 money. Today, in 2017, that's $3,709. What do you think for just one episode? Now, moving on to Little Ricky, he was played by many actors. So again, take a look at my video focusing on all the actors that played Little Ricky. Specifically, today, we're going to focus on the Mayer twins. Yes. Twins played Little Ricky, Michael and Joseph Mayer. After the boys were immediately signed to the show, the boys were played $150 a week. That's $1,390 in today's 2017 month. Over the next five years, the boys' income would increase to $700 a week, which today in 2017 money is $6,491 per week. Wow. Now moving on to some people who work backstage, Carl Frun was an Academy Award winning cinematographer. He worked on movies like Dracula as well as directing The Mummy. He was used for the lights, making sure that every shot looked great, not only for the camera, but for the audience as well. Now, Mr. Frun started out doing the first season at scale, which is roughly around $200, where in today's money, it's $1,942. He was an independently wealthy man due to his inventions and patents and took the Desilu assignment mostly because it was a challenge to him. Director Mark Daniels directed I Love Lucy for 38 episodes from 1951 to 1952. He earned $500 per week. That is $4,855 in 2017 money. Now a really funny episode on I Love Lucy, Lucy hires a maid. The maid's name is Verna Felton. She was also a Disney voice actress and she was a veteran character actress as well. She played the unflappable customer in Sales Resistance as well. She earned $250 for her week's work. That's $2,318 in 2017 money. Now in that same episode, Sales Resistance, we have Sheldon Leonard. He played the salesman, Harry Martin. Now he made $400 for this assignment. That is $3,709 in 2017 money. Hmm, I wonder why he got more money. Now, if you're a big fan of I Love Lucy, you know Ricky's agent, Jerry Hausner. Now, he appeared in several episodes, of course, as a minor role, but he usually earned $70 per episode. That's $649 in 2017 money. However, he also earned an additional $70 for being the announcer for the audience members in between scenes and before the show started. Now, if you are a classic horror movie fan, you have heard of Elsa Lanchester. She played... Miss Grundy, quote unquote, the hatchet murderess, and she had a bit of star power behind her. She played the iconic role of the Bride of Frankenstein. So she made $2,000 in 1956 money for that episode. Wow, that's $18,339 in 2017 money. What a big payout. 
Now we know all of you are dying to know how much John Wayne made for his appearance on I Love Lucy. He was a really good friend of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, and so he did the appearance more as a favor than anything. He made $280 for the episode. That's only $2,500 in today's money. But they also were able to promote his new movie, Blood Alley, many, many times, and they said that that was a great payout as well. Now, taking a look at the later years of I Love Lucy, the four main writers... Bob and Madeline, Bob Schiller, and Bob Weisskopf each made $1,250 per week. Of course, these four wrote the entire episode, and so the whole show was based on their work, which would amount to $11,462 in 2017 money. Wow, what a good payout. Now, I know you all may be waiting to see how much Desi and Lucille Ball made throughout the course of the show. However, you have to understand that they donated or they used most of their salary and put it right back into Desilu so that they could acquire the rights to the show and make the production as good as possible. So basically most of their salary was donated off to Desilu itself. I can't even tell you guys and gals the amount of people that ask me in the comments, how much did Bill Frawley and Vivian Vance make on the show? Well, back in 1951 where the show started, they both made the same amount. They made $350 per week. That is $3,346 in 2017 money. However, by 1956, they were earning $2,000 per episode. That amounts to $18,339 per episode, guys and gals. Wow, what a good payout for them. Well, thank you so much, guys and gals, for watching. I do appreciate you supporting my videos by giving me a big thumbs up and sharing them on social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to do, it does help me out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It does bring more people to the channel and lets me do more of these videos. Don't forget, guys and gals, to always stay positive and always push forward no matter what challenges you're facing. We're all facing them, but it's most important to keep focused and move through them. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful.